What's up, everybody? Hello, hello, hello. 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 How's everybody doing? Boom. Hello! Guys. We got we got some like fucking information today. Sorry, I'm I'm really bright right now. Holy shit. My light is doing the thing where I look very orange. Okay, okay, that's a little tamer. Yeah, that'll do. Finally done recovering from butt surgery. Let's go! You haven't touched Guardian games since the first day? That's unfortunate. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, I don't understand focus activities at all. <laughs> Do I have to be on Titans? Is this why I don't understand it? Because Warlocks have never won. It's never occurred to me. Because I see people like scroll over that and then they've got like information. Every time I scroll over, it's it's never information. But I, I bet now I'm going to scroll over and it'll be big. Oh no. I don't understand how this works. You got the skimmer? Let's go. That being said. That being said. Very excited about another light. Uh, and I have really been liking Guardian games. It's been a lot of fun. Um, Wobby says, okay, so Wrath of the Machine is dropping Recluse Midnight Coop <laughs> boss furnace. People are convinced. Okay, so we'll, we'll talk about stuff, but people are absolutely positively convinced uh, so this is the key art for Into the Light. Uh, and there's a lot of shit to talk about here, and, and we'll get into it. Um, I didn't even notice this. Look, it's uh, it's got a Titan symbol on it. So everyone's like, oh, this is Fallen Guillotine. And it's not, though. Because Fallen Guillotine definitely did not have these orange stripes. So unless it's like a reissued Fallen Guillotine, and it's got kind of a reskin on it, um everyone is so convinced that this is midnight cube man and i get it but it's just like that doesn't make any fucking sense you know what i mean and everyone is so convinced this is the least convincing i think that this is blast furnace i look i think what's gonna happen i think these are just like reskins hand cannon could be palindrome no bro we just lost no it's not gonna be palindrome. We have palindrome was a thing for like a whole year. Um, yeah, they all have kind of the they all have the the stripies. So I'm I'm assuming what's gonna happen is we're just gonna get a set of five or six weapons, and they're kind of like modeled after uh, fan favorites, um, and you just get them from whatever event. That's my assumption. Uh, everyone is so convinced that this is Midnight Coup and that's Blast Furnace. Uh, and this is Fallen Guillotine. Um, I don't think so. I, I really... Maybe I, I maybe they, they're they bringing back, like, the fan favorites. And that can make sense. And they're slapping on different shaders onto them. Like, maybe that is the case. Um, definitely a possibility, I guess. It's all... I find it weird that they chose to bring back a Vortex Sword. Whether that's a new one or Fallen Guillotine. When we literally get Slammer next week. I find that's really odd. Um, the armor's really cool. I was talking about this on Twitter. Um, just an updated version of the parade armor from vanilla destiny one. So we have a couple versions of this armor, actually, um, destiny two armor. These guys, so this is, these are the armor sets they used to advertise the game. They call them like parade armor or something, uh, cause we were like celebrating the last city. Um, and so these are kind of like updated versions of those. Yo, Ethan, thank you so much for becoming a mother chicken. Let's go. Uh, there are re reissues, I would assume. I just, I don't know why you would assume anything is my point. And honestly, like with, with guns like Midnight Coup, no matter, because when Midnight Coup existed, it only, it only had one perk. It only had two. It had a static roll. I think it only had one perk. It was just Outlaw, right? Um, I mean, I still have mine. Let me look real quick. Um, or do you have Outlaw Ram Rampage? Maybe. Fuck, it's been so long, man. Can you, you guys believe it's been like six years since that shit? 
It was Outlaw Rampage, yeah. It did have two perks. It, it, did, it had three columns, two perks. Um, so, like, even if they bring it back, it's still an entirely new weapon, right? Like, we've got, undergone so many systems. It'll almost certainly have the fixed recoil stuff. It'll have brand new rolls. It'll have an origin trait probably tied to this event. So, even if this is technically Midnight Coup, uh, it's not going to be Midnight Coup, you know what I mean? It'll be Midnight Coup in, like, name and semi-appearance only. But, I mean, they, they clearly gave these... If these are reissues, they gave them new skins. My point being... It's weird to assume off of this, but maybe, maybe it is. Um, I love what they've done with the armor, man. I think these all look absolutely fan-fucking-tastic. Uh, just kind of like the perfect versions of the, of the parade armor. Uh, when's the Final Save Collector's Edition, by the way? Um, we All we know is from the Bungie store that they start shipping in March. That's all we know. So... Um, yeah. Had Outlaw Ambitious Assassin with Rampage? Oh, yeah, you could, it had a selectable perk. That's right. I forgot that guns used to be able to do that. Um, so maybe, you know, maybe this event takes like some of the fan favorites from seasons that we haven't had return yet. So I could see, yeah, Midnight Coup, Blast Furnace was really popular. Um, everyone really likes Kindled Orchid, but I don't think they're going to give us two hand cannons. Um, but it's also hard because, like, back then, a lot of weapon types didn't exist, right? Like, there were, uh, was Black Armory the first LMG? Legendary LMG? Because it was, um, Thunderlord came with Festival, right? And they didn't... Am I making this up or LMGs didn't exist in Vanilla Destiny 2? I honestly don't know if I'm making that up or not. I feel like they didn't exist in Vanilla Destiny 2 and then they came back after Thunderlord came back with Festival of the Lost. I don't fucking know, man. Um, There's zero machine guns in Destiny 2 Year 1. There we go. Okay, thank you. Um, Yeah, that's right. Because it was, it was Festival and then it was Forsaken, Festival, and then Black Armory brought, the fir brought Hammerhead. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know... I don't think this will only be three weapons. I imagine usually a set six. So these are, you know, three. If if these are from seasons, we have arrivals. We have uh, we have fallen guillotine. We have season one, uh, essentially, which is midnight coup. We have season four or five, five? season five, which is uh, black armory with the blast furnace. So uh, we already have all of the gambit weapons from season six. We already have opulence weapons from seven, right? Do we? No, we're still missing one of those. We're definitely still missing something from opulence, I think. Or am I making that up? I feel like we're still missing an. Yeah. Oh, the dawn weapons. The dawn weapons. If they're bringing it back, um, the the auto rifle. Everyone loved that auto rifle the the sidearm was really good uh and the auto rifle was really good i bet it would be one of those the blue perfect i think was the auto rifle uh and there's no way i'm remembering what the sidearm was called the three round burst one that shit was crispy though um so i bet we'll get either of those um steel feather repeater no steel feather repeater was the auto what the fuck was the blue perfect what is that am i making that up Shit, dude. There's been way too much shit in this game. Oh, Blue Perfect was an auto rifle. Oh, that was Season of Undying. Breach Light, yes. So I bet if, look, if these are revisiting the biggest hits of Destiny, I bet we'll get either the Steel Feather or the, um, the Breach Light. Um, what other, do, what other things do we not have yet? Uh, surely we're missing... Oh, bring back Dust Rock Blues. You know what I mean? From War Mines. Holy shit. I would lose my mind. Dust Rock is, is still my favorite shotgun of all time. I love that shit, dude. Um, that would be so awesome. Uh, probably Perfect Paradox. Does it? Uh, I thought Perfect Paradox was... They brought it back. Am, did I make that up? 
if you guys can't tell my memory recollection of of it doesn't help that Bungie sunsets shit and then brings it back and then sunsets and then brings it back. It's hard to fucking keep track. Um, yeah, if Perfect Paradox isn't back, maybe they'll bring that one back. Uh, but I still think, honestly, I don't. I think people like the community would rather Steel Feather or Breachlight, honestly. Uh, Line of Sand, Martyr's Retribution. Yeah, Line of the Sand would be dead content on arrival. Uh, Martyr's Retribution would also be dead content on arrival. I know it was the first wave frame, but we've power crept so fucking so past that. Um, no, this is definitely not a shotgun. You can see the stock. You can see the stock here. It's 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 very close, if not the blast furnace model. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't. What are other periods of destiny? Oh, well, they could they could actually bring back Steel Feather and Perfect Paradox because technically Perfect Paradox, you could just say, is from Curse of Osiris and they haven't brought those weapons back, right? So if we're just, if we're saying from like six, six of the first eras or seasons of Destiny, weapons they haven't brought back yet. Season one, Midnight Q. Season two, Perfect Paradox. Season three, uh, Warmind Guns. Um... Were there any strike things in season three? There definitely was. Uh, I'm trying to think what we don't have left. And I'm trying to keep it different. Like if they bring Perfect Paradox as a shotgun, what in Warmind, I really want them to bring Dust Wipe Blues though. But what in Warmind is popular? Is there a sniper rifle in Warmind that we didn't, that we don't have? Season three weapons have mainly been brought back. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to think of like, technically like Midnight Q is like not really part of Red War. It's not part of that like our weapon set, but it's like adjacent, you know what I mean? Yo, Arska, thank you so much for the 19 months. Bungie, when they do some good for once. <laughs> uh, dude, this look, I'm actually really excited. I'm glad I kept my ex expectations in check because this has hit me really hard. Um, aren't there whispers of the Whisper mission returning? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if an exotic would really count for this. And Whisper didn't have its own stuff. Uh, yeah, Frigid Jackal. Like, all, any of those. You could bring Braytech Osprey. Any of those. Um, Warmind didn't really have, like, a huge cult following weapon, I guess. Oh, I mean, it did, but they're all brought back. They'd be the Ikelos weapons. So let's just ignore Warmind for now. So let's say, yeah, we have uh, Midnight Q from season one, Perfect Paradox season two, season three, we already have, uh, we have Forsaken, which had a lot of weapons that aren't back yet. Um, shit, that's a hard one, man. That's a real hard one. We'll skip that one for now. Uh, season five, we have uh, Fallen Guillotine. Season six, we have Blast Furnace, seven, eight are back. Sorry, six, seven are back. I think there's, I think we're still missing something from Opulence. Um, I can't put my finger on it. Um, maybe Beloved? They could bring back belo uh, Beloved? Or Beloved? Adored? Beloved? Beloved? Dearly Beloved? What's the, I don't know, I don't know which one it was supposed to be. Beloved? Uh, they could bring that one back. Um, Edge Transit. Can you fucking imagine? Blood, blood's already back. Oh, the adored. Yeah, the adored. I forgot. I forgot. Season of Drifter. We already got all those weapons. Yeah, sorry. I guess I'm using numbers. I should not. Season one of Vanilla Midnight Q. If we're assuming one weapon from each era that we don't have all the weapons or most of the weapons back for. Season two, Curse of Osiris, Perfect Paradox. Season three, Warmind, we have most of the Iclos weapons. I'm going to skip that one. Iclo, uh, season four, Forsaken, Edge Transit would be so fucking baller, actually. Um, so I think that's going to be my answer. I'm trying to think of anything more iconic in, in Forsaken than Edge tra Transit. And I, I honestly don't know if there is anything. Uh, season five, which is Black Armory, that's Blast Furnace. So that's four if we count Edge Transit. 
uh season six is drifter we already have all those weapons season seven's opulence let's say we already have all those weapons season eight is shadow keep um undying weapons you could bring back any number of undying weapons uh season nine is dawn so we can bring back let's say seal feather or breach light season 12 is worthy uh, and we 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 can still use those weapons right we still have cqc and stuff maybe i'm looking at my vault that's why i'm looking over here Yo, um yeah undying weapons we got three of the undying weapons back there are a lot more undying weapons we definitely do not have yet um everything passed on is not sunset okay yeah this i mean i'm excited man i'm excited that's cool we got four or six yeah so i'm trying to think of like where else we could fit stuff in there I think I think the four easy ones, if we're assuming this is correct, Fallen Guillotine, Midnight Coup, Blast Furnace, Edge Transit. I, I think Edge Transit's a fucking shoe-in, dude. I think that's such an easy shoe-in. Um and Breach Light. I'm gonna say Breach Light. That brings it up to five. Uh or Breach Light or Steel Feather. One of those. Oh, and Perfect Paradox, that's six. And those are all different weapon types. Did you forget that Beloved came back with Haunted? Oh, I fucking did forget that, actually. Yes. <laughs> How fast does your facial hair grow? Not very fast. Very slow. I shave, like, once every, like, two months. If that. I, just when I shave, I don't go all the way down. I just, I use, like, a, uh, like, a trimmer. And I, I just go, I just put it on, like, a, uh, a one guard. And then I, I get rid of my mustache completely all the way. Dude, Hammy, you called it. Yeah. Biggest counterpoint to Edge Transit is the model they use for Guardian games. Yeah, but you could say the same thing about Fallen Guillotine, right? Fallen Guillotine, the Slammer comes out, same, came out same exact time. Um, and that's even more unique of a model, I would say. So. Oh! Someone just made me think, when did the Hush Gambit bow come out? You fucking know what? The recluse and the hammerhead. Uh, we know that those ornaments are coming back, right? I bet they're also part of this set. Those are more exciting weapons than these. I bet those are also part of these, this set. Because recluse is season three. That's the th season three weapon, right? Season four weapon would be, it's not gonna be fucking Edge Transit. It's gonna be like not forgotten. Um. Yeah, one Midnight Coup. Recluse was season six, was not season three. What was the first one? Oh. Oh, fucking, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm an idiot. I forgot that, um. It, uh, it wasn't Recluse, it was goddamn uh, fucking Raedrix's. My bad. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, I hope they bring that shit back. Although, technically, I think the... The Broadsword is still not Sunset, right? You can still use the Broadsword. Yeah, I bet Recluse counts. Season 6? So that's... Drifter? Yeah, I bet that's one of the weapons we're missing. So I bet it's... When was Not Forgotten? What season was Not Forgotten? Is that four? Is that Forsaken? Yeah, did it go... Because it went Raedrix? Did it go Raedrix Revoker? Or, Ra or did it go Raedrix Not Forgotten Revoker? Oh, fuck. Mountaintop's somewhere in there. Fuck, man. Is it... Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Raedrix? Not forgotten. Revoker Mountaintop? Recluse?
Radrix, Lunas Howl, Mountaintop, Recluse Revoker. Gotcha. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not saying Redrix, bro. I'm not a fucking nerd. Diary the wimpy kid looking ass. No, it's fucking Radrix, dude. Because that sounds way cooler. Oh, fucking Diary the wimpy kid's Roderick, isn't it? <laughs> Close enough! <laughs> oh, man. Um... Okay, my new official answer is Midnight Coup from Season 1. Fuck all from Season 2. Uh, fuck all from Season 3. <laughs> this isn't going as planned. Uh, <laughs> uh, Recluse from Season 4. Not Forgotten Season... No, there's already a hand cannon. No, Not Forgotten. Is that ornament in the Today in Destiny? Fuck, this is hard, okay? And they're bringing four, or they're bringing two. If that's Blast Furnace, then they're bringing Blast Furnace and Hammerhead from that season, if they both count. So, ah, oh, fuck. This whole theory's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I swear that's gonna be irrelevant. It's coming back, people up having that. Well, that's like, this is like the least exciting thing, dog. I mean, come on, Slammer next week is going to... We got confirmation, everyone, that Slammer is literally going to be the greatest sword of all time. And it's not even close. With one, one, one note on that. If you can well skate with it, if you can shatter skate, if you can strand skate, if you can do all that stuff, then it will be unequivocally the greatest sword of all time. Not even close. I'm not taking questions. Um, is the Titan showing teeth? Oh, he kind of is showing teeth. That's kind of sick, actually. Um, you can't... Well, so, once again, Wobby, I talked about this in our day one chat. Like, I know that during the crafting, you could. But there's, there's a very big difference between an interaction like that that... I mean, like, well skating already isn't supposed to exist, technically. And then you add another glitch on top of that... I'm, I am being as safe as possible. I'm using as soft language as possible. I'm not going to assume that interaction is going to work until I see it work in game. Yes, I know it was tested in the crafting. I know, I just addressed that. Uh, Titans can technically bubble skate, but it is ridiculously difficult. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen anyone consistently bubble skate without a macro. Um, I've never looked for it. But the only clips I've seen of people bubble skating are with macros. Uh, yo, da, da, big daddy fish. All daddy needs is GOS red borders. That would be very nice. I agree. Just something else to farm. And some of those weapons are fucking, they're, they cook. Uh, so we do have recluse. We have hammerhead. Everything else is back. So I'm going to say not forgotten is not coming back. Plus midnight coups in the picture. Two hand cannons. Generally, they don't do that. So. So. But yeah, also this armor looks great. It, it looks, uh, once again, it's like updated versions of the, of the parade armor. I think it looks fucking fantastic. Now, I mean, the other point here is that we're clearly in the last city. Oh, this isn't even the full picture. I'm dumb, sorry. Here's the full picture. Uh, clearly in the last city. The tower looks completely fixed. And, uh, oh, and uh, I, th I think I said thank you, but if I didn't, thank you so much for that super chat, uh, the Big Daddy Fish. Appreciate your face, my friend. Um, tower's fixed, and this is concept art, so it's it's obviously, like, this isn't in-game footage. This is someone's, like, thought process and stuff. So I wouldn't necessarily take that as fact, but tower looks fixed. Um, clearly, we are undergoing some sort of insurgency from... The Hive, presumably Shivu at this point, because she's the only Hive figure left. Uh, we have a Vanguard turret, which looks fucking awesome. Um, we have a bunch of Shriekers in the t city. And I think they gave us a little bit of a hint at the activity. I haven't seen... I've seen some people mention this, but not a lot. Uh, but you can see here this blue line. I don't know how well this shows up if you're like on mobile. But there's clearly, like, objectives or zones here. And you can see here, I'm in the way. Um, you can see here, it clearly is making, like, a square perimeter. 
it hits like here. Boom, 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 boom. So it kind of looks like we're standing in like a square or a box and we have to defend. Um, that's just kind of my estimate or guess. So a lot of people have been saying horde mode. To me, this looks a little bit more like a tower defense mode. Something like that. That's where you bank your modes. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, this seems a little bit more like a tower defense. Um, that sort of thing. Uh, I don't know what that looks like in Destiny. And honestly, this is concept art. So once again, I wouldn't, you know, this is all speculation. I would encourage to not read that much into it. Because who the fuck knows? This could be a, a still from a mission. You know what I mean? We have no guarantee that we're even getting in activity. Um, bottom right, there's a dead security frame. Oh, there is like a crucible one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like right here, you can see the crucible logo on it. Yeah, it's like an R site looking looking at us. Yeah, that's why I'm saying like it kind of seems like a, maybe some sort of combination of a tower defense or a, a horde mode or something like that. Um, but once again, this is concept art. This is promo art. Let's wait and see the gameplay. Let's wait and see what it actually is. But the prospect of like a, a an invasion of the tower of the last city is pretty insane. Uh, so kind of excited to see what they, they whip up there. Pretty excited to see what they whip up. Um, but we'll see. I mean, keep in mind, they only had a couple months to make this. It, there's clearly a lot of reskins, which is I don't care about, but I know people care about. Um, and a lot of this is probably going to be like kind of reused stuff from like the Red War campaign, I imagine, like maps that were already built and they were able to kind of reshape. We've seen them do stuff like that before. Once again, I don't personally have a problem with that. Uh, it, I just want content. I, I care much more about like how fun content is to play than necessarily what the, like I'd much rather care about how fun a, or unique a gun feels to shoot or a, a unique gun perk combination is rather than I care much more about that than if it's a reskin or not. If we can get five unique gun perk combinations, if the reskins versus two brand new ones, I'm gonna take the reskins every time. I personally don't really care that much. Um, now, if they start to do it 50 times, sure, I'll start to care. But stuff like this, these are some of the most unique gun models in the game, you know? I don't really care. Um, I, I love this. I I'm very excited to see what this is. Uh, I feel like we haven't fought like this sort of like alongside like turrets ever have we done that i was gonna say in a long time but now that i think about it i don't know if we've ever had like turrets on our team um this sort of stuff deliver the payload through the last city oh i didn't even think that man and now that you said that there's probably a 40 percent chance that it's deliver a payload through the last city and i'm really fucking pissed that you didn't let me live in bliss for another week or month. That's fucked up. Oh, the final mission in the Lightfall campaign. I forgot about that. That's right. Corey, I can't believe you did that. So, um, this is really exciting. Man, Bungie's really, they're stepping it. Like, I told you guys this was going to happen, okay? And we're going to get to the TWAB here in a second. But Bungie... Oh, sorry, Demon. Can someone explain to me what Into the Light is? It is essentially a free update to fill the time between when Final Shape was supposed to launch, like, two weeks ago, um, versus when it's actually launching. Because it got delayed a couple of months, a few months. And so this is to, a free update for everyone to fill that void. Um... But I, I told you guys, like, we already know from internal reporting that pre-orders are a little down um, for, versus where they would like to. They're missing the revenue projections. They need, beyond, or Final Shape, they need Final Shape to fucking hit. And they are going to bring it. They are going to absolutely bring it. And the best way they can do that is to get people playing the game before Final Shape comes out. You need to have the community feeling very, very excited and good about the game. You need to have them fully engaged. So Into the Light uh, and the marketing push, there's going to be a lot of, I, I expect a lot of left turns, 
some maybe some puzzles and i mean the collector's edition comes out uh this month so we know there's an arg probably an arg coming we don't know that for sure i guess because the lightfall one didn't have an arg but they usually have an arg um this is like they have a lot riding on this and from a marketing perspective they are going to be sending it that's definitely why we're getting three streams um in the three streams they said that they're letting us know about into the light i would be absolutely shocked if we don't get final shape info at least in one of those streams um they're gonna be they're going for it okay so right now this is in this next couple of month period this is where we see what bungie's got when their back is against the wall uh into like i would say like these next two months three months into light or final shape i keep saying lightfall um into final shape this is where we're gonna see what bungie's made up nowadays so we're gonna see the streams are two minutes each maybe what's an arg it's like the big community puzzles that they do uh the nightfall next week should be corrupted you know everest about to explode when they you see an update like this yeah i mean of course it is you know what i mean uh they're a business they need to make revenue i'm not it's i i've made my feelings on eververse very well known very well known but you i you know at this point every time something like this happens every time there's a new season every time there's an uh uh event everyone's always like oh eververse about to explode you know eververse eververse that's just how it is guys you know what i mean like it's not going to change at this point, we know the revenue model is incredibly dependent on Eververse. So if that does ever change, that means Destiny is, is done or completely diminished, right? They rely a lot on that. So yeah, we're going to see a lot of it. Don't buy stuff if you don't want to support it. I don't buy stuff. I would encourage everyone, if you don't like that sort of thing, don't buy stuff. If you like the collaborations, but you don't like the other stuff, just support those. You know what I mean? Like they've clearly taken a hit on this front. They know how we feel, but it's also how they're funding their entire studio. So it just is what it is. It's not going to change. Um, it's just, it's uh, people always focus on it and it just does no good. It's not gonna, not, no, the conversation never goes anywhere. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I'm glad it's corrupted or it should be corrupted because uh, out of the current slate that we have, corrupted is is definitely one of the best forms. It's between that and Lake and corrupted's way more fun in my opinion. So uh, on Tuesday, I'm gonna have a team going and we are, I am literally going until I get the God Roll Slammer uh, because I, I think the Slammer is going to be the greatest sword in the history of Destiny. So. Um, streams have to total at least two hours for the emblem. Yeah, and there's they're gonna give you some leeway too, right? I would be surprised. Like, I bet there's going to be a little bit of, like, here's this, and then maybe a little Q&A session, like they usually do, that sort of thing. So, uh, who's the character below the ship? Below the ship? The guy with the horns? I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. I have no idea what you're talking about. I didn't realize like a shout out to new skip the boss. Yeah, it's real nice from the dam. So they're adding last city content, which means zero hours. <laughs> Cope. Ship, uh, zoom in between the ship and the buildings. What ship are we talking about? I mean, there's a hundred ships. The, what, do you, what do you mean the main ship this is the tower are you talking about the tower there's not a main ship guys there's like 10 20 ships it's the tower okay 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 guy with the horn between the I just hope this isn't a revamp of the Solstice map thing. No. Yo, Molina, what's up? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Uh, how are the pyramid ships outside? I thought they went inside the Traveler. I mean, obviously not all of them went, I guess. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Guy with the horn? This one? 
Oh, this? Sandman, you're you're confusing me, brother. Oh no, I don't I don't think there's a guy. The knight on the far right? No, that's not what he's talking about. He said between the buildings. Scarrow keychain showed up today. Let's go! That's right. Hey. Oh well, we're doing a charity thing right now. I always, I'm always, I struggle with this. <laughs> uh, go donate to the charity thing that we're doing for Bungie. <laughs> um, speaking of Bungie, let's read the Twab. Twab. I mean, it's not. We kind of went over most of everything. Into the Light starts on April 9th. I already took the day off, so we are fucking gaming! Uh, can I get $100 if Into the Lights gives us a new enemy faction? What do you mean by that? Like, you you think we're gonna get it? You think we're gonna get, like, a, another thing than Hive Cabal? Like, that's what you mean? Or do you mean, like, a new sect of the Hive? Because if you think this is going to give us a fifth enemy race, you're out of your mind. I'll take that $100 bet all day long. And when you're wrong, you're donating that shit to me. That's fucking crazy. Actually, in fact, don't donate to me. Keep that $100. Next time we do the um, a Bungie fundraiser, your ass owes me $100. Or the, the fundraiser $100 through my link. When there's no fifth enemy race or sixth enemy race or seventh. Whatever we're fucking on right now. Yeah, wait, no, 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 no. You don't get to resend, bro. Uh, April 9th comes out. I'm excited. We're going to be streaming all day. Today, we are ready to share when our next big content update is coming. Destiny 2 Into the Light will launch on April 9th uh, alongside update 736, which also includes further tuning to the sandbox and quality of life updates. Let me get a job first. Fair enough. Uh, Destiny 2 and the Light will deliver new game content available for all players throughout the month of April and May in preparation for the launch of Final Shape in June. What type of content, you might ask? Well, we'll share that information very soon. Uh, come and watch us play. As soon as Tuesday, you can see what the Destiny 2 Into the Light is all about in not one, not two, but three live streams. Each will focus on different part of the content update and will be presented by our developers who will be sharing tons of information and providing a hands-on preview. Um... So what, how do we think we're going to do this? Like, do we think this is going to be like a like a PvE crucible gambit? Like, how, how do we think we're, they're going to break this up? This is really interesting. Um, three, like... This is what I'm saying. So you can see what Destiny Into the Light is all about in three live streams. Like, one of these live streams has to be totally focused on final shape there's no way live stream one all raids return i mean like if it's like okay let's say like hypothetically okay let's take a content update and we know okay this doesn't make any sense let's take a content update like the 30th anniversary event pretty substantial content update would be way too much content for two months in my opinion i mean like way more than bungie would make so that if we had to take the 30th anniversary event and break it up into three live streams dares of eternity the dungeon grasp but then they're not going to spoil grasp right and then like the fuck are they doing i'm so confused pve pvp and final shape maybe maybe but how much is PvP changing? Like, they just changed PvP. Oh, I bet what one of one of them is definitely the three new Crucible maps. Three new Crucible maps, whatever new uh, activity we have. And, like, Garden Refresh or Levy or something? Like, <laughs> Levy's not coming back. What's this about? Uh, the content update that we get in a month. We No, I don't think we're going to get reprise rates. That's unbelievable copium. New mechanics for each class? No way. They had two months to make this, man. Uh, 
I don't know if anyone said this is in the black armory stripes on one of those promotion images. What do you mean black armory stripes? Zero hour? Yo, or whisper? One of those? Yeah, so maybe, yeah, maybe uh, three new crucible maps for one, PVE content for another, and like whisper returning for the next one, and maybe like a recap mission to get people onboarded or something. New social space? Guy guys! Guys, they had two months, man! You, you guys are crazy! Niobe Labs? No way. There's no way they bring back Niobe Labs before fucking Whisper, dog. You know how many people did Niobe Labs? Like three. And I was one of them. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people, it's at least a very similar model to Midnight Q. Yeah, what if the what are the live streams actually Destiny 3? They took the extra time between uh <laughs> They took the extra time they got by delaying Final Shape and they they've actually already made Destiny 3. Surprise. That looks like the last city. Yeah. Average testing two player. If they were to ever bring back Niobe Labs, if they didn't change it, I would be mad. Like they would need new puzzles. Fuck, man. I mean, dude, if you want to get people excited about the game, a fucking huge community puzzle like that would pop off, dude. One of these streams, they're going to have to give us final shape information. They have to. They've already said they're going to show us more gameplay. Um unless they're doing a fourth separate stream for Final Shape. Yeah, one of the live streams is sex, that's right. So it's three Crucible maps, the new PVE content, and then the Destiny 2 69.0, the sex update. That's right. Uh, Naobi Labs was very fun, but it is way less approachable than something like Whisper. Um, so for the next three weeks, uh, we have these things. I won't be, I don't have this much vacation time. So I'm, I'm gonna, we'll watch the recaps of these, uh, the, the afternoons that they come out. Um, this also means I'm probably done with hockey for the year, which is really sad because I play on Tuesdays. Uh, unless one of them's really bad. Uh, so we'll see. They're they they're doing renovations, so they're melting the ice like mid April. It's like, man, I really wanted to play some more, but it's all right. It's fine. Destiny is better, I guess. <laughs> it's always next year, God. Um. So, did they say they're doing another Vidoc? We haven't gotten a Vidoc for the final shape yet, so we will almost certainly get one. I did not yet Buzzkill it, but I plan to try this week. Uh, while you watch, keep an eye on two new Twitch drops available. If you watch for at least 30 minutes across any of the three live streams, you will earn the Those Held Deer emblem. Uh, and if you watch for at least two hours total, at least two hours total. So these streams are going to be at least two hours total. How is there two hours of content to show off here, man? How did they, like, what? I'm not angry that we're getting content. It just doesn't, we go, we go years with having these seasons that are nothing. And then they're like, oh yeah, we can just pump out this much content in two two months, three months? What? How? I'm so confused, man. I don't, I just don't, I don't get it, man. I hope, I like, I'm excited. I hope it's good. I'm just, I don't even know, man. Making enhanced traits more obtainable. This, this right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is game changing. Game changing. Over the last year, the weapons team has been collecting a lot of feedback on the crafting, a weapon crafting and enhancement. We recognize players want access to enhanced perks so they can make their favorite gear even more capable. Uh, while we weren't fully ready to talk about the weapon lands, the entire la weapon landscape of the final shape, the new and repra rep fuck. 
The new reprised weapons you collect from the Prophecy Dungeon and the Guardian Games All-Stars, as well as new weapons in rotation for Iron Banner, Trials of Osiris, Nightfalls, and Nightfalls will all retroactively be enhanceable when the final shape releases on June 4th. So, this means two things. One, this is like one of the biggest things that crafted weapons have over other weapons in the game is enhanced perks. That's one of my biggest gripes with crafting weapons. You can get them for free and they're the best of the best. This changes a lot of that. And I made a video saying that the Slammer and the Tusk of the Boar were going to be two of the greatest weapons in the history of Destiny. And people fucking, they were hating, they were vile. They were calling me names, they threatened my family. They came and they kicked Shadow in the head. And they're fuck just because, because these weapons wouldn't be able to get enhanced perks. Well, who's fucking laughing now, nerds? Uh, Slammer is on top, baby. Tusk of the Boar is on top, baby. Slammer, Adept Bait and Switch. Adept Eager Edge. Adept Swords Master Guard. Well, Scarrow, that can't be Adept. Yes, it can. Shut the fuck up. Adept Jagged Edge. Adept Masterworked Impact. Adept Vanguard's Vindication. This shit is going to be the greatest thing in the history of Destiny. Bunch of haters. Bunch of fucking haters. You guys ready for the Tusk of the Boar one? You fucking ready? Okay. Adept Chain Reaction. Adept Slideways? What the fuck does Adept Slideways even do? Has anyone ever even adepted a Slideways? Fuck. Adept High Velocity Rounds. I don't remember what you want here. Probably just like a shit ton of velocity. Adept Quick Launch. Yeah, probably, probably Quick Launch. That's probably what I'd go with. Adept Quick Launch. Adept Velocity or Handling Masterwork. Adept Field Tested. This shit's gonna get crazy, dude. Chain is getting nerfed, you're getting nerfed. You know what isn't getting nerfed? Adept Chain! Enhanced on Adept, fuck off. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, mag size of Slammer? Do we know the mag size of Slammer? It's a sword, it doesn't have a mag. A billion! <laughs> deconstruct coke maybe deconstruct maybe uh fucking maybe this, uh, deconstruct could be very good do we have an adept deconstruct does, does anyone know what a, or fuck i keep saying it. shit enhanced does anyone know what enhanced slideways does what gets enhanced slideways uh Someone give me something that comes with Adept Slideways. Thank you, Lab. Uh, no, Slammer comes out on Tuesday. And I'm farming until my eyes bleed. Oh, fuck, I lost it. Is it here? Yes. No, that's slide shot. Is this what you sent me? Let me click this again. Slideways. Adept. Oh, enhanced. Sliding refills 15, 25. Oh, that's dumb. It doesn't help. <laughs> Give me a, a adept deconstruction. There is no Adept Deconstruct. Let's go. We learned a lot today, ladies and gentlemen. God, I'm so excited. I... Mm, mm. I haven't had a weapon I've been fiending to farm in a long time, but let me tell you, dude, the Slammer's making me fucking slammed in the pants. You know what I mean? Shit. Fuck. I'm so excited. That... It's gonna be so good. Okay? I'm getting an enhanced divorce with my adept wife. <laughs> oh my god. 
You guys are wilded, bro. Uh, Iron... Yeah, we do know when Iron Banner is. Uh, three weeks. I made that up. We do. They told us when it was. Well, Tusk of the Boar isn't available until the first week of April. So probably then. Wait. Yeah, April 2nd is Iron Banner? Yes. April 2nd is Iron Banner. Wait, isn't April 2nd... It's a live stream. Oh, fucking fuck, man. I don't even know anymore. I'm tired, okay? I don't know what's happening anymore. My team's in first place. My team's in first place, but only because Jake is carrying the shit out of us, dude. Jake has the most fundraised by a lot. Good job, Jake. Glad I picked you. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling really good as a team captain right now. Just saying. <laughs> Extra, someone, uh, the Buffalo Sabres should uh, hire me as GM because I'm really good at putting a good roster together. <laughs> Is April 2nd your birthday lab? But, uh, so that's kind of fun. Oh shit, what? We're in the top 10 for medals banks too. I've barely even played. I don't even know how that's possible. Yes, I was almost a joke. Well, I'm glad you're not a joke, friend. So, yeah. Okay, that's the TWAB. Now, off stream, I farmed a pretty juicer auto rifle. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. That's what my mom said when I was born. No, it's actually pretty bad, right? What do we think, uh, Dragonfly? I mean, oh, fuck. This could have been so good. And I, I assume gut shot straight, so like straight ass. Is that what we're saying? Aiming down sights to increases body shot damage, but decreases target acquisition. Do I care about target acquisition is the question. Because I am on, I wanna try this. So enhancing is a final shape feature that they're bringing to the March update. No, 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 no. You will not be able to, um, you will not be able to do that until Final Shape launches. But it, it's retroactive to those weapons. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm so, I'm so dumb. That's exactly what you said, Tides, and I just, I'm just dumb. I, that is my bad, I apologize. Yes, you are exactly correct. Um, I also got a couple of these that are really good. By a couple, I mean only this one. Uh, keep away headseeker. It's like, yeah, I'll try it. I wasn't really farming for this guy, so I held on to it. Um, I still think messenger is probably better in like every way, but it is what it is. Probably not. But I want to try this guy, so we're going to try this guy. Uh... I need arc stasis. So instead of kinetic, kinetic, let's just use stasis, brother. I wish it was just primary, secondary. So I didn't have to switch my shit every time. Stasis. Uh, Actually, I want that to be arc. They should make enhanced band switch 35%. Oh, can you imagine? That would actually be pretty good banter. God, dude, the slammer is... So, I'm so excited. You guys have no idea how excited I am for that shit. Maybe you do, because I've been screaming about it for a couple weeks, but... Uh, I stand besides the AR. Every prophecy weapon has a better version of the game. Um, Yeah, that's kind of my evaluation, too. I was... The thing is, though, is that... I think the one place where that could be wrong is the origin traits kind of busted. It's only 3%. But I think, like, for the shotgun, if it's 3% per pellet, like, I don't know how it applies, but I feel like that it could be way more consistent. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I guess we'll play the uh, the Guardian Games one. It's just kind of a thought, though. I don't know. But, like, I feel like the hand cannon, I want it to be really good. Um... That's a good point, Tromar. Bait and switch on Slammer. Yeah, I'm going to go for Eager Edge, Bait and Switch. Uh, if I get one that's Eager Edge and um, 
cold steel i'll probably keep it i'm really not that big of a fan of cold steel but that's mostly because it's never been on a, a weapon i've liked so i'll keep it if i'm farming and i happen to get that roll i'll keep it uh but bait and switch is my main squeeze for sure If we can also skate with Slammer, then no other power weapon will ever be equipped. That's exactly why I'm using it. I mean, it's already, like, I already use this in literally everything. It's almost level 500. It's not even close. If we can enhance perks, that means we can probably put mementos on those weapons like we can with adept weapons. It's over. Like, it's done. I'll never use another gun in my life. <laughs> Uh, it's Corrupted, Hugo. It's this upcoming Tuesday. So. I'm just, I'm just really excited. It's been... For the last little bit, I've had to really kind of stoke myself up to get excited to farm for certain weapons. Uh, and I feel like the Slammer and Tusk of the Boar are genuinely the first weapons in a very long time, like since the other half first came out, that I am genuinely excited to go and farm. And I'm like looking forward to spending time farming and at like the chase. Whereas everything else that I've farmed between for like the last two years, I've kind of had to like force myself to go do and not like feign enjoyment, but definitely like play into the excitement a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, these are the first weapons in a long time that could actually change the way I... I well, not really. They're, they're not going to change the way I play because they're the same fucking type of guns I already use. But uh, they're changing my loadout. Get wrecked, nerd. I'm trying to see if that if that target acquisition fall off is really noticeable. Double down. So I'm gonna play with this for. A, oh, that sucks. I'm gonna play with this for a game, and then I'm gonna switch to my my dragonfly one, and I'm gonna see if I can really if I'm hitting way more headies with the other one. Oh, do I have a mod on this? You know, I could always put if I'm losing target acquisition, I could always put a target acquisition one on this, but um. Oh, just this guy. What's the... Oh, the recoil direction is kind of bad. So. What are you supplementing Tusk and Slammer with? Uh, pro Sunshot for this season, for sure. Uh, probably like Ikelos. What? Probably like Ikelos. Or Zali's or something after this season. But if, if I can deal with the target acquisition, Gutshot's not bad because then I get the increased headshot from target lock and the increased body from Gutshot. I don't actually know if that helps me at all, but... So far, it doesn't feel so bad, but I haven't really used it at a range yet. Oh, I saw that shit sketching out and I thought it was the enemies. What are you doing, buddy? Oof. Together as one. I have not baked a pie. We got crumble this week, so I figured I shouldn't get pie today. I'm trying to cut back a little bit. It's fucking it's tough, man. I just like, ah! I like sugar too much. Am I getting fucking jolted by this guy? Leave me alone. I've been trying to gain weight and I just can't, bro. Fucking, fucking rub it in. What the fuck? 
Do you want to trade? Yeah, happy Pi Day, everyone. I'm excited to see you retire Forbearance. Just watch Tusk be absolute shit, and I don't. <laughs> I think it's pretty much a given at this point the other half is being retired, but I think Tusk and the Boar is still up in the air. That being said, I don't use... Oh, yeah, I do. I was going to say I don't use Adept Perks on my Forbearance, but I do, actually. I don't know why I thought I didn't. It's a crafted weapon. Of course I do. Of course I do. Bro, what are you running at? Holy, oh, yeah, that threw me off. This is their fate. Oh, they only have two people left on their team. That's tragic. I got really cocky there. I was like, I don't have to aim for this. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I think the target acquisition might be hurting a little bit on this one. What? Oh. I hope they can extend enhancement to the rest of the game. It it's such... I'm really worried if they do that, though. Because that... I mean, that is, like, literally... The de the definition of power creep could not be better summarized in any other way except for enhanced weapon... Enhanced perks are only available on some weapons. Now they're available on more weapons. Now that it's available on every weapon. You know what I mean? That's the literal definition of power creep. And yeah, fuck, man. And that just... I'm really scared of what happens. Um, Because a lot of aspects of the game have already become much too easy. I can see it being Dungeon Trials Nightfall tied. Maybe. Um... Did we get any new weapon? Uh, Iron Banner would be on that list as well. When are we, yeah, when are we getting double enhanced perks? Introducing the, the new Uber perk system. <laughs> you know. I'm just a little worried, but I'm sure it'll be fun. Bro! This fucking guy. Disrespectful. Yes! I win that every time, baby! Uh-oh. If it's available for everything, it loses its value. I don't know, this value is such a tricky thing because these perks are only valuable if, if they make the game that much easier. But if the game is just at a base, a baseline like that much, like already easy, then they don't really have a lot of value to begin with, I guess, is my worry. Come on, beat that. You won't. What are you doing? Can't wait to see what you do with that. God damn, this thing actually kills real fast. I didn't hit a single one of this.
Oh, why did I peek that? If I just give it one more second, I win that, dude. You were a right scare of the Iron Banner Wayfarer in my top 4B? I've been saying it, man. Everyone's a, everyone's a hater. Everyone's a hater until they're not. And then everyone per to every what? It's gonna fucking happen. It's gonna we're, these are gonna be the two skill based matchmaking thing. Not in this game mode, no. Um, in most game modes, they got rid of it. Uh, it still exists in Iron Banner, I think. And does it still exist in Iron Banner? One of the last like two or three twabs broke it down. They went game mode by game mode and broke it down. Um. But yeah, give it a couple weeks, man. Everyone's gonna have both of these guns. They're gonna be running around. They're gonna be like, oh, we knew from the beginning they were gonna One be the best. Minute. It's like you fuckers. You have this. Drip base matchmaking? I kinda like that. seconds stand between you and victory bro what is that guy doing don't spend all that ammo in one place ah! <coughs> take this <laughs> so dumb Oh, Jesus. All right, I'm going to try the, the, the other one. And you took all the crest. That's why I like you, Guardian. <laughs> I look up Majestic. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. But yeah, someone was asking about collector's editions. Those start shipping out this month sometime. So hopefully we have some content there. Um, oh, Bungie, uh, Bungie's bringing back the Bungie bounty, which is awesome. Um, that's next week. So we'll see what that looks like. We used to have a lot of fun. Um, I, I used to go live during some of the Bungie bounties and try to hunt them down. So like try to match them on stream. I don't think that ever worked, but could be fun. Could be fun. Yeah, there is a new Bungie Bounty emblem. Uh, it's, um... Emblem Collector. Let me find uh, Emblem Collector. Destiny. Also, I was on uh, Dan Finity's podcast, Destiny Digest. It was me and the guy who made sh the Charlemagne bot, Warmind.io. So if you've ever been in a Discord server and you've typed like forward slash weapons and you got to see like what weapons you use the most and stuff, it's that guy, the guy who made that. Um, and we have an awesome talk about all of that. Uh, so th I think that comes out tomorrow. Pretty excited for that. Um, let me see if I can pull up this emblem. They teased it. Probably in the unreleased section. I'll know it as soon as I see it. Yeah, this one. It's called the Light Lotus. So this is the new Bungie Bounty emblem. It goes kind of hard. Goes pretty hard. There's not a lot of good orange emblems, and I think this is like a good orange. So I think that one that one goes pretty hard. I only found out I'm only going to eight hours at work starting tomorrow. Like, a day? Or... What do we know in this update so far? Very little other than some concept art. Uh, this is the... Yeah, okay, this is Dragonfly. So this one has more target. Oh yeah, you can kind of feel that right away, actually. I think the biggest thing with target acquisition is it just didn't feel like a lot of my shots were... I was getting a lot of, like, ghost bullets, it felt like. So I, I really want to... I want to keep my eye on that. 
Because I know, like, Dragonfly isn't the optimal thing, but I got Target Lock. It is super unique. Yeah, usually they keep that kind of red and blue uh, scheme. I like this one, so I'm excited to see what it what it is. They're they're hyping it up, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, I think that's on Friday. Fuck, man, a week from tomorrow, Friday. I mean next week. Um, collectors editions are soon. We got it. We got some juice coming soon. I'm excited, man. I need content. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm excited to. I'm excited for a lot of this. Bruh! Oh, Jesus. You're done. You're mine. You are no longer mine. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Target acquisition does not matter if they're rubber banding, turns out. Aim? Bro, he was rubber banding! Like, what am I supposed to aim at? Um, also, for, on a personal front, I just got... I, I don't think I've streamed since then. I just got my first ever yearly bonus and raise in my entire life. Uh, which is fucking crazy. Working for an actual company and getting rewarded for your work is like... It's pretty good! Who would have thought? So Chaboy is, uh, cha -ching. pretty excited. Pretty excited. And I was like, my boss was like, yeah, it's not that great this year. And I was like, what? The fuck are you talking about not the great? <laughs> I, I didn't say it like that. But I was like, it's like, uh, I've never gotten this in my entire life. I will, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Um, pretty funny. And I was like giggling the whole time when she showed me like, Everything I was like, yeah, I was like, you have to understand. I've never had this in my life. This is amazing. Um, hello, you're gonna die. No, you're not. I'm gonna die, bro. What are you doing? Ah, oh, we're fine. Oh, they've got a well. What the shit? Destiny 2 Into the Light launches April 9th. Uh, Bungie's launching a big content update for Destiny players on April 9th as they eagerly await the Final Shape DLC. Yep, that pretty much sums up what we know about it. Uh, it looks like there will be some sort of activity based off of the concept art, but we don't know that for sure. Um, kind of looks like everyone is thinking it's a horde mode. I think it looks a lot more like a tower defense type thing. We don't even know if there is an activity, to be completely honest. It just looks like there is. Uh, it looks like they're either bringing weapons with um, similar frames to popular weapons in, throughout the history of Destiny 2. Uh, for instance, there's a hand cannon that looks like Midnight Coup. Uh, a pulse rifle that looks like uh, Blast Furnace. Uh, we don't know if they're the actual versions of those or not, but uh, they, they at the very least look like them. Oh my god. Maybe I maybe the worst target acquisition one is better because it's bad target act target target <laughs> It's bad target acquisition fucking hell balances out my bad aim. You know what I mean? And then it's actually good. Watch this three, two, one, dead. Oh, I was hoping to run into that wall. Shit. I was hoping I bashed into that wall so it would stop me and I could slide. That's right. That's right, Joe. Tower defense would be funny. Looks like they're defending the tower. I didn't even think about that. I mean, it makes sense, man. It makes sense. That's right, Tromar. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. What is this guy doing? Oh, no! <laughs> fuck. 
That's right. That Into the Light brings back all secret missions, actually. You missed that, too. Every raid, uh, except for Wrath of the Machine and all secret missions. We can't have Wrath of the Machine back, though. Because the final shapes raid is actually just Wrath of the Machine, but... Why is it green? Uh, final shapes raid is actually just Wrath of the Machine, but, like, a little bit more smoke coming out of enemies' heads. As you do. Come back here. You're mine. You're mine, boy. Nope, come back. Shit. No, kill him. Yes. Did he just try to kill his own teammate's bubble? That was such a stupid move, buddy. Two for one. Wrath of Machine 2. It's actually called End of the End. The fi uh, final of the machine. Shape of the final. Final of the shape. I don't know. I got nothing. If a single old raid comes back in the... No, dude. It's not going to happen, man. It's literally not going to happen. 0% chance that happens. Goodbye. What? What do you mean he didn't die? Bro, this guy's fucking... He's a rat. Oh my god, that guy is such a rat. Fuck. Oh, nope. Copers want to assume Levy's coming back too? Stop. <laughs> You're just going to be disappointed, man. Oh, oh no! Do we think we beat this bell? Oh, that's embarrassing for that guy. Sheesh. If you've ever seen me aim, you know that's really embarrassing for that guy. <laughs> if you've ever seen me not aim, <laughs> I guess is better. I'm gonna try that gut shot straight one again. The final shape were the machines we made along the way. I agree with that. I agree with that. Is that the toad I know? You know what they say. The toad you know is better than two in the bush. That's what they say. On the other end of employment spectrum, the store I worked at got robbed and I got fired for it. And that happened on my birthday? I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Are you okay? Was it like uh they just they stole stuff or did you, you was it like at gunpoint? Like are you good, man? You need to talk? Bro, that's brutal. Fuck. Yo, Day, what's up, Hayscarrow? Hey, Long time fan, back since console days. Uh, can I ask what's the AR and how could I get it? Yeah, this is the uh, Prosecutor. So this is actually, it was in the game from Vanilla Destiny. Um, they just launched it. They put it back into the free dungeon Prophecy. So unfortunately, you can only farm it now once per character per week. In like five or six weeks, whatever, whenever it's the featured uh, dungeon again, you can farm it endlessly. But it was the f the featured dungeon last week, so um, it'll be a it'll be a little bit. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good. I'm kind of an auto hater, certified auto hater. I want to use this uh, for one more game, and then I want to try out the pulse rifle. 
keep away head seeker well depending if if we get a if we get a long map i'll switch to the the pulse actually What's with the Tory Companion? We don't know. The what? Well, that's why I think it'll be like a tower defense thing. But I, that could be like severe copium. I honestly have no idea what this is going to look like. And like I said, it could be like a one-time mission that you do once. It might not even be an activity. The fact that we're getting some guns makes me think that it's an activity. Could be wrong. Uh, thanks, man. Can I ask uh, any tips on how to get more advanced and higher light faster? I've been stuck at 1809 for so long. Uh, I think, why is 18... 1810 is the cap, so, like, you're fine. All your additional power comes from your artifact, which just comes from... Uh, if you want artifact power, the best way to do it is if you go over to quests, uh, do all of your seasonal challenges. These give you an insane amount of experience, and that'll give you a ton of XP, which will rank up your artifact which will give you those bonus light levels. If you're 1809, like, you literally just need to do anything that's a pinnacle on the map. Anything that's gold, that rewards pinnacle. So, um, Crucible, come over here. That's not pinnacle. Those are powerful. But if you go to, like, the raid, uh, which is Crota, you can see it rewards pinnacle. So, but on if you're 1809, like, you pretty much only need to worry about your artifact level for the most part something like how the vex invaded the city in spice but got dialed up to 20 would be cool i agree and it would be cool because like when the vex invaded the sea the city in in splicer we, there were no ramifications of that thank you noble i uh, love the thumbnail thank you appreciate your face there are no ramifications of that like it was just like night you know what i mean and there were some pixels in the air um oh sorry i'm thinking of undying uh in splicer no, that was Splicer. Yeah, that was Splicer. Never mind. I, I, I had it right. I had it right. The Endless Night was Splicer. Um, I, th that's why I want an event in the last city, like it looks like we're going to get, because that... Um... Sorry. Okay. Uh, that... Ooh, that adds like weight to it that makes it seem like something crazy is actually happening so there we go thank you once again noble for the 14 months holy shit uh, my dream is that the activity has us doing stuff in the city and then the final boss goes up and fight them in the og tower that would be sick that would be super sick yeah man oh this is kind of a longer strand arc I'm not going to have time to switch my mods, but... Actually, yeah, I will. Strand, 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 strand. It's going to kick me out of my screen. I'm going to be really pissed off when it kicks me out of my screen. Strand. Strand. Arc. Strand, strand. Have we not spawned in? Defeat your opponent. I had plenty of time! All right, let's see if this thing's any good. Keep away, head seeker. Oh. Oh my god, that's fucked. <laughs> the two hours for watching the live streams are coming up are nice too. Yes, very. I'm more of a pulse guy than an auto guy, so I think I'll Im immediately be better at this. I love how clean the sights are for these weapons, by the way. Oh, 
Oh, fucking hell, man. I should have known that was too aggressive. I should have taken the stairs, I think. Fucking stupid move on my part, man. Ha! <sighs> It does feel real crispy. One after another. Get the fuck out of my way, buddy. was shooting fast new era dude every single i mean they put out like five singles for this album right blue reverie crawl backwards out of having cure the go ghost one what was the other one that they put out the first one they put out is it four now i feel like i'm missing one as well pale iris yes uh, Pale Iris probably my least favorite, but they're all very good. I love how diverse everything is. Because that was kind of my main complaint about the last album. It was really good, and I liked a lot of songs on it, but there were definitely, like, a lot of songs that sounded kind of samey, uh, in my opinion. Um, but man, these singles are really differentiating themselves. I think Cure is still my favorite. They switch up the mix on Pale Iris. Oh, really? They like re... They, I hate when bands do that. And they don't give you the option. Like they changed it on everything. And you just spend that half the time like... I feel like I'm being gaslit when that happens. Because it's like, I swear I remember this sounding different. Oh, I'm dead. Um, But yeah, I think Cure is my favorite. Just because that riff is ridiculous. Uh, but gee, I'm so excited for this album. It's very good. Or it's, it's going to be very good, I guess. I am even more excited for the new Eminence album, though. There's a new uh, single tomorrow. Everything Eminence has released thus far is unbelievable from this album. I think that might be my album of the year. We'll have to wait and see. Two for one. God damn, this thing feels real nice. I don't know if it's better than Messenger, though. I'll have to go back and use Messenger. Oh, what the fuck? Man, just came around the corner with a bomb. I, Cora, would be proud of you, Warlock. Only five minutes left. Uh, I could never get good at PvP. I never had any moments. Oh, I had my most. That's about it. The most I pushed myself to get good is when I tried to get not forgotten, made it 3,200, and fell apart. Oh, damn, man. It's the thing about, like, a lot of PvP. I have noticed I've had to slow down a lot because it's a lot. It's not. I mean, like, being good at aiming is obviously really important. Um, I say is like whiff every shot in the world. And, like, aim trainers and stuff definitely help. But I think, like, 90% of my problem is positioning. I'm really, like, for my first couple of games, I play really well and I'm patient and I'm doing well. And then the more I play, the stupider I get with my pushes and stuff. And that really ends up hurting me uh, when I'm playing Trials for, like, three, four hours, you know? It's something I've learned that, oh, fuck, see, like... 
if I see if I would have just hit my shots there, I wouldn't have died. So that's definitely in it. Like I would have killed them the first time is my point. That's definitely an instance where like aim definitely and consistency and stuff hurt or helps. Um, but it's definitely not everything. Oh, fuck off. It's also like, it's a, I play a lot different when I'm streaming cause I'm using like half my brain to do this, you know? People who play like top at the top and stream, they have like my utmost respect. Very, very impressive. See, like this guy is light. I don't want to peek that, but I do want to peek that. Cause it's like in the one 100 chance I kill him, that'd be really cool. Jump up. No, I'm being pushed. It's a really great super, by the way. I should've used that on the bubble. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, fuck, man. Okay. My thing is I run, I rush and I ADS too much. I feel like I can't aim if I don't ADS. That's fair. I think that just comes down to being comfortable uh, in, in aim training and stuff. But I mean, it's not like, I see the thing I'm really bad at is I'm not very good at tracing. I'm really good at like snapping. So that's why I like weapons like hand cannons and pulses where you snap between every shot. But if I'm using something like an auto or like a scout that's like more on the tracing side or a trace rifle even, I'm, I'm not very good at that. Oh, I fat fingered the shit out of that though. You, so you just kind of have to know your strengths and play to it a little bit. See, like... Oh, I didn't even know that guy was there. If I can snap and I can get into my rhythm, I'm good. Not every day you see a well of radiance kill icon in the Crucible feed. You really just gotta embarrass the people you're... Oh, fuck, man. Really just gotta embarrass them. What are you doing? Does that... Wait, that works?! I didn't know you could destroy well with that. What? Did you guys know that? Peek that. Oh. oh my gosh, that guy went in and fucked those guys in the well up. Peek. Oh, Jesus. Okay. With what? With the, uh, the slam? The hunter slam? Or the titan slam thing? I didn't know that, man. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to call it there for today because the Buffalo Sabres have probably the most important game of the year. And it starts in a couple of minutes. Uh, so I'm going to go watch that. That being said, uh, definitely some streams this weekend. I'm really excited to talk more about this stuff, play some more Iron, or Iron Banner, uh, some more Guardian game stuff. Um, I'm excited to just chill. I, I'm feeling very good about where this game is going, uh, in, in, like re very soon, better than I felt in, in a long time. So, um, um, so we're good, okay? All right, everyone, I'll see you tomorrow or Saturday. One of the two. Love your faces. I'll see you very soon. Peace out, everyone. See ya.